Is it on? Yeah. Yo guys, what's up? DJ Danza coming at you with a car review slash I bought a new car. I bought a Mazda 3 hatchback with a 2.3 liter four cylinder five speed manual. That's what's up. I have no idea how to drive manual, but I'm learning. So it's a little bit of a project car. It's got some rust, typical Mazda rust, you know, like stone chips and shit. And it's got cool rims on it. But I'm changing those, those aren't staying. I already got my eyes on some rims. But for real, I'll show you the damage before I even get going. Whoever had this car had put some Bondo from some damage and then somebody hit him again or he hit somebody, I don't know. But it's damaged, so that has to be fixed. I've got the typical Mazda rust right in this section of the quarter, the rear quarter. And then not to mention my brake lights weren't working. There was a short. So I had to get all that rewired, and that was expensive as fuck. This car is turning into a money pit already, and I haven't even spent any real money on it yet. So this typical Mazda rust there, there, down there. Can I ask a question? Yes. Okay. Um, when you say typical Mazda rust, your, your like... Mazda has rust in these areas. Yeah. Now, like, was this like a default when Mazda made Mazda? I don't know. They just, they all tend to rust in the same spots. It's kind of weird, guys. It's a Mazda thing. It's like Ford's rust in certain spots, right? Okay. Like, it's just, that's just the way it is, right? That's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. So, basically, like, on Troublemaker's car, he's got the rust in the spot, too. I right on the door, actual, you know, and his is down there too. We can do a comparison video. Showing the rust. Sorry, guys. And, yeah, look inside. Give him, give him your intel, baby. What do you think? All right, so check this out, guys. Uh, as we get into the driver's seat, he's got a nice little dash here. When he turns the car on, this thing says hello. That's pretty neat. He's got a CD player, he's got a working radio, but I don't think he can do an aux cord. No. He can charge cell phones with that special charger that hooks up the lighter. He's got a uh, emergency park brake. You know, vents, whatever, whatever, kind of like a normal car. Glove box, who knows what's in there. And um, the coolest thing is, is that this thing is standard. Yes, five speed manual. Yeah, so um, I was in this car. Here, you wanna film me for two seconds? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, cool. So um, I was in this car in the passenger seat, he was driving, and I'm just like, bro. He's like, what? I'm like, you sure this is a standard? Because I feel like you're driving an automatic. Like, you got pretty good at this really fast. You know, so it's just like, because when I drive with others, man, I'm like, you can tell that you're in a standard. Like, doo -doo 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 whatever, right? This guy is just like, and you're just like, this is smooth. So like, he, he mastered it really fast. Good at his craft. Um, got a sunroof, couldn't ask for nothing more. And uh, yeah, he's gonna fix it, spruce it up, and there'll be a comparison video. Pretty much what he said, man. Any last deets? Oh yeah. Hashtag. Yeah. Yeah, yo, any last deets? Um, I can, I've kind of got my work stuff in the car, slash a clown mask, slash a lot of things, but seats fold down, and yeah, there's not much really to say. It's got all power options, power mirrors, power locks. What, what kind of, um, what kind of engine? It's a 2.3 liter four cylinder. Okay. Here. <clears throat> Yeah, we don't need another one of those. So yeah, four cylinder. And actually, fun fact. Okay. Ford makes the powertrain. It's a Ford engine with a Ford transmission. Wa bam! Nice man, nice. 16 valve overhead. Okay, so for those that know Danzo, like myself, and he knows himself, let's ask him this question. All right. How long, sir, do you believe this car will be with you? I don't know. I'm not saying he destroys his cars or nothing, but like he goes through cars like girls go through shoes. This is true. No, no, I plan on keeping this for a long time. Like, I still have the Honda CRV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's staying around. This one I plan on actually turning into a little bit of a custom build. So, like rims, tires, 
you know, suspension, stereo. Um, fun fact. Yeah, yeah. Dave is gonna help me out. We're gonna work on his Cobalt, or sorry, G5. And I'm gonna work on this, because he's always wanted to do a, a Mazda. And I've kinda always wanted to do one too. But also I've wanted to work on a G5 and we've been doing that, so. Yeah, we're gonna turn it into a cool little uh, built car. Gang, gang, gang. So you're gonna see some cool car videos. Um, so as for this review, uh, I haven't owned the car long enough to really give you a day-to-day -day on it. I mean, it drives nice and stuff like that. I find it a little heavy on gas for it, for, for, considering it's a manual, you know? So, um, but past that so far, I love it. So, more videos to come. And actually, I'm gonna do a how-to um, drive manual video. There you go. Step by step. And guess who's gonna be starring in that video? Other than myself. Uh, Barney? No, you. Troublemaker is gonna learn how to drive manual. Okay, no, I feel so irresponsible for this. Like, oh, geez, here we go. Don't worry, man. $200 later after I hit something, yeah, there I go. No, 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 no. We'll find a little back street like this and you'll be fine. You call this little? It is little. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, guys. That's what's up. You'll see some cool videos on rust repair and stuff too. Hack and pack. All, All right. right. Peace. Peace. We're back.